here against Brisbane. To give the Blues their first lead of the night. Not quite, but it might be imminent. Harris, the contested marking specialist, shows why she's flown south. Team pumps it high, rising Harris! Taylor Harris strong in the air. A little bit of hang time, but what about the definition of strong hands by Harris? Hello, Paul Stockdale from ABCPE, the place where we try and make VCE, physical education, as easy as ABC. And today I'd like to talk about classification of skills under the skill acquisition banner. Why do we study skill acquisition? Well, we need to be aware that there is a link between skill development and participation in sport. That is that uh, people with high skill development tend to perform better in sport and therefore will tend to participate more in sport. So let's start with classification of skills and firstly terminology. Fundamental movement skills or motor skills provide the basis for successful participation in sport. A young lady on the right learning to jump. And who would have thought that that young lady would end up playing AFLW and taking high mark after high mark. So the sport specific skill to do with jumping would be in the AFL a high mark, but not just jumping. We must also include running and catching in that. So let's further classify movement skills and we can do that according to movement precision. That is a skill is either fine or gross. Uh, the type of movement, whether it's discrete, serial or continuous, and finally, the predictability of the environment or whether the skill is open and closed. And because many sports don't necessarily fit neatly into those categories, we tend to do this on a continuum. So our learning intention today is going to be to classify Taylor Harris's high mark in the AFL as either final gross, discrete serial or continuous and open and closed. And I wonder whether you can do that even now as we speak. Final gross is pretty simple really. Fine skills involve small uh, muscles or muscle groups and fine accurate movements, whereas gross skills come from larger muscle groups. So place the following skills on the fine gross continuum and hopefully you came up with something like this. That the dart throw is the finest, most precise and accurate type skill all the way through to the gross movement of a tennis serve. Now VCard do um, examine this fairly heavily. It tends to be you know, one of the first few questions that they use. Uh, here's an example from 2019. Difference between a gross motor skill and a fine motor skill using suitable egg examples. So the first part of this is that a gross motor skill utilizes larger muscle groups um, such as kicking football, whereas a fine motor skill utilizes small muscle groups for more precise and accurate movement such as throwing a dart. Another classification is the type of movement, discrete, serial or continuous. Discrete skills have a distinct beginning and end. A serial skill tends to be one where there's a number of skills in, in sequence, if you like. A hop, step and a jump of a triple jump or each particular skill of a gymnastics routine is a great example. And finally, continuous skills which have no distinct beginning or end such as swimming or running. Again, heavily examined. Uh, here's an example from 2019. I'll give you an opportunity to do this now. And the answer for this one is that a discrete skill, a free throw in basketball is a discrete skill because it has a distinct beginning and end. It wants you to um, tell us why that is the case. And the reason is that the basketball free throw begins when the player receives the ball in their hands and finishes once it leaves the hands for two marks. The last classification that we need to be aware of is environmental predictability or whether the skill is open or closed. And I can tell you that there are three things that we need to use to determine this. The first one is the stability of the environment. How stable or unstable is it? And remember that it's not just about weather. It could be whether the ball's stationary or moving, whether there's a crowd, um, whether the playing surface is predictable or not. Timing of the skill. That is, is the skill determined or the timing of the skill determined purely by the performer or are there other forces at play such as opposition? And then finally, what's the inter-trial variability of the skill? The golfer on the left-hand side, for example, will try and hit the same ball just about every single time.
Now the surfer on the right hand side has a different wave to contend with, different weather conditions. Every ride is going to be unique. Where would you place a basketball free throw versus the jump shot in general play? So even within the same sport and essentially the same skill, uh, there could be a difference and hopefully you would be aware that the basketball free throw is probably internally paced. That is, the, de the performer determines when they start and finish and the environment is stable. No one's running at them as opposed to the jump shot. Again, heavily examined 2018 and again in 2020. Kicking soccer classified as an open or closed skill, you could choose either depending on the context. So in general field of play, it is open, whereas a penalty shot might be quite closed. It's open because it's performed in an unpredictable environment, because the timing of the skill is external, determined by teammates and defenders. And finally, each time a field kick is taken, it's slightly different. So it has a high inter-trial variability. Now, if you are getting those sorts of answers, then you are putting yourself into rare air with just 16% getting three marks for that question. And finally, we'll come back to our learning intention and hopefully you've had an opportunity to classify Taylor's high mark. And if you have, you've probably come up with something like this. A high mark for Taylor is gross. That is a serial skill because it involves a run up, a jump, and finally, a catch. And then it's an open skill because she does it in front of plenty of defenders and teammates. Well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, remember to go to our website for more videos like this one and we'll see you again really soon. Have a great year.